What is a startup? You know, one of the most frustrating things about this industry is that we all have our sort of like lexicon or we have our acronyms like SAS, VC, AI, CAC, LTV. We have a lingo and a terminology that just makes startups difficult to understand. And even though I've worked in the industry for going on 30 years, I don't know that I've ever heard an actual clear definition of what a startup is. I know people can define what a startup isn't, but what exactly is it? This is the best definition I've been able to come up with. To me, a startup is a product-based business ideally either composed of or enabled by technology that has the opportunity to scale rapidly and exponentially and can be very efficient with capital. Now, a lot of startups aren't efficient with capital, but I think that's one of the things that the startup has the potential to do. It also has the potential to scale, but it doesn't necessarily need to pursue that scale. So in my mind, startups sell products. So if it's a services-based business, if you're consulting, you're your design agency, or your um, you know, legal accounting, services typically can't be startups because the way to scale services-based businesses is by raising your rates, or throwing more people at the problem. A startup needs to be built on a product, a product that is sold. Now, yeah, I can hear you already, like, what about software as a service? It's not service as a software. It's software is the product that's being sold even if it's approximating a service. So software as a service is still a product. And then the other thing that always comes up, because I've worked in any number of software companies and product-based companies where a great deal of revenue is driven by services around that product. It's either support, or it's configuration, or it's installation, or, you know, Salesforce has an entire ecosystem built of services companies that configure Salesforce for other companies. So yes, there may be services included in the offering for a startup, but the primary product, the primary thing being sold, the thing the company is predicated on is a product and a product that wants to achieve a certain scale. So restaurants, hairdressers, Main Street businesses aren't often startups, and yet people feel that there's some value in calling them startups. I think because the term has become popular uh, the same way the term founder has become popular. So if I just want to encapsulate it very simply, startups are built on products. Every startup is built by an entrepreneur, but not every entrepreneur is building a startup. And founder and entrepreneur are not necessarily synonymous. A startup founder is a very different type of person than a typical entrepreneur who may be starting something to solve a problem or satisfy a need, but is not necessarily planning to do that at scale. So after 30 years, that's like the best, <laughs> that's the best definition I've come up with. And that's the one I generally use. So are you building a startup? Or are you just an entrepreneur building a business? The vast majority of businesses are not startups. Yeah, 
So that's my take. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Hope you're hanging in there. And until we get the chance to chat again, please keep up the good work.